Hello, I'm Richard Thompson, president of the Thomas More Law Center. This Saturday, May 21st, is Armed Forces Day, and the staff and lawyers of the Thomas More Law Center wish to pay tribute to all the men and women serving in the United States Armed Forces. However, I'd like to take this opportunity to specially recognize Rear Admiral Jeremiah Denton, United States Navy, retired. He is the chairman of the Thomas More Law Center's Citizens Advisory Board. I invite you to watch this video of a true American hero. We don't have to turn to our history books for heroes. They're all around us. One who sits among you here tonight epitomized that heroism at the end of the longest imprisonment ever inflicted on men of our armed forces. Who will ever forget that night when we waited for television to bring us the scene of that first plane landing at Clark Field in the Philippines, bringing our POWs home. The plane door opened and Jeremiah Denton came slowly down the ramp. He caught sight of our flag, saluted it, said God bless America, and then thanked us for bringing him home. Admiral Denton represents everything good about America, a heroic patriot, a devoted husband, father, and a faithful Christian. On July 18, 1965, then Commander Denton was flying an A-6 intruder on a bombing run over the Vietnamese city of Than Hoi. His plane was shot down and he was captured by enemy forces. Admiral Denton was a Vietnam POW for nearly eight years four of which were spent in solitary confinement. In 1966, he was forced to appear in an interview before communist dignitaries with the purpose of having him admit to American atrocities. Before the interview, Denton was tortured and threatened with death if he did not answer correctly the questions posed. Defying his captors, Denton replied, whatever the position of my government is, I believe it, I support it, and I will support it as long as I live. How are you as leader? How do you as leader? You as leader in the town. During the questioning, Admiral Denton looked into the camera lens and blinked his eyes in Morse code, spelling out the message, torture. He provided naval intelligence with a first confirmation that American POWs in Vietnam were being tortured. I get uh, adequate food, and adequate clothing, and medical care when I require it. How do you think about uh, the so-called Vietnamese law? Do you think I friends about it? Well, I don't know what uh, is happening, but uh, whatever the position of my government is, I support it. Whatever the position of my government is, I believe in it. Yes, sir. I am a member of that government, and it is my job to support it, and I will as long as I live. On February 12, 1973, Denton was released from prison along with numerous other POWs. He was a spokesman for the first returning group of POWs, and as he stepped from the plane, he was asked to make a statement on behalf of the group. We are honored to have the opportunity to serve our country under difficult circumstances. We are profoundly grateful to our Commander-in-Chief and to our nation for this day. God bless America. God bless America.
Denton is the recipient of many military awards and honors, including the Navy Cross, three Silver Stars, the Distinguished Flying Cross, and two Purple Hearts. Thank you, Admiral Denton, for returning with honor, and our thanks to all the men and women defending this nation by serving in our armed forces. This tribute is to our heroes who do or die.